if you are between 8 and 80 years old, it's impossible that you have not heard anything about generative AI, ChatGPT, BERT, or Copilot. But have you heard anything about prompt engineering? With the rise of generative AI, demand for prompt engineering is growing at rapid pace. It's a new career choice and the pay is really good. Sometimes companies are paying over $300,000 globally and over a crore in India. But the million dollar question is how to get that? Stay with me till the end. Today I'm going to discuss systematically what is prompt engineering, why is it a big thing, and most importantly, how can you learn it? Please like, comment, subscribe to Data Bicep. Hello friends, I'm Mossam and welcome back to Data Bicep. Today's topic is prompt engineering. Without wasting any time, let's try to understand what is prompt engineering. In layman's term, it is all about how can you ask generative AI model a question efficiently so that you get the most desired and most accurate answer. There are many types of generative AI models. It can be text, like your chat GPT, where you can ask a question. The model understands your question, its topics and its context, and answers accordingly. And those answers are not prefabricated. Possibly you have heard that GPT can write poetry, can compose song, and write tunes as well. Generative AI can be an image model as well. DAL-E, Mid-Journey are examples. Even Adobe has put Gen AI in its photo editing tool. It can convert your statement into an image. Those images never existed. It's like drawing something completely new. Similarly, generative AI can be in audio and video as well. You can pause the screen here to see different type of generative AI models available today. Now coming back to prompt engineering. Can you see this lady? I myself created this character using simple English text command in mid journey under one minute. I did not have to learn Photoshop at all. Isn't it amazing? But wait, it does not stop here. Generative AI can write a whole screenplay if you can provide context and subject. I have zero knowledge on how to write a screenplay, but just prompted Gen AI model to create a complete video where all characters spoke in perfect sync and most importantly, all logics were 100% AI generated. Let's look at it quickly. Conversation among three robots on impact of AI in India's job market. I started my journey in a computer artificial server. Artificial intelligence has made significant progress and is now able to perform tasks that were once thought to be exclusive to human intelligence. If you want to watch the full video, either click the link above or I will provide the link in the description section. All I was doing to achieve these is called prompt engineering. So the next obvious question is, why is it a big thing? If you ask critically, prompt engineering is not completely new. All of us who searched using either Google, Bing, Yahoo search, or for that matter, any search engine have been doing it for quite a while. We always try to ask question to Google in a certain way to get the best answer. Just think and tell me, how many times have you tweaked your question a little bit after Google threw an answer which you did not like in the first place? How many times have you added a special character such as inverted comma or plus or minus in your search to include or exclude any specific word? I would love to hear your tricks in getting the best result out for Google search. So the actual question is, if it always existed, then why is it a big thing now? And why salaries of good prompt engineers can go to an astronomical level? It is important to understand that general purpose artificial intelligence will continue to improve in future. When we talk about Gen AI, we talk about a black box model. Fundamentally, it promises to have the capability of fabricating outcome all by itself, but that is based on its training. So assume that it is your black box friend who can answer only if you ask the right question or the question rightly. Let's look at the example. I had asked a GPT same question twice. What are the main benefits of Kubernetes operators? First time, it gave me this answer. If you read it thoroughly, though it looks 
good, but it is not 100% correct. A DevOps people would know that Kubernetes operators are not an extension of Kubernetes and Docker is not required. This is called AI hallucinations. Today's term is AI hallucination. Comment below if you have any experience when GPT threw just bogus nonsensical answers to you. Now what I did, I asked the same question again, but with bit of prompt engineering, where I set up a bit of instructions. That is, I said the model to answer the question based on the context. And I set up the context by saying, what is Kubernetes operators in the first place? And then asked the same question. And now look, I have the corrected answer. That is, its benefits are either operation automations or reusability or etc. It was just one example of prompt engineering. But in order to do it better, you need to understand the domain, the capability of the AI model as well. Since a good prompting can improve quality of output, save time with AI model and open up new methods of using generative AI models, companies always look for people who can do it effectively and hence the high money. So the next obvious question is, how and where can you learn it from? Honestly, this is a new field. Unfortunately, as we speak, there are only a handful of guidances, but hardly any course to learn systematically. Best way to learn is to practice. But recently, Google published a generative AI learning path with 10 videos in it. That's a good starting point. I personally liked it, and I'll provide the link of the course in the description section. It talks about the fundamentals of generative AI, how it can be applied in text image. It talks about the large language modeling and many more. But if you want to learn prompt engineering, I would suggest to get yourself familiarized with few concepts at least, like chain of thought, prompt by example, direct prompting, prompt injection, etc. And as I speak, I I'm thinking of creating a complete video of these concepts later, but you can check this video by H Educate. He gave many good examples of prompting techniques. I'll provide the link in the comment section as well. But again, to reiterate, it's a new field. Hence, practice and learn from your mistakes. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any question around the topic. I will try to answer all. We do a lot of research to bring information in a concise, structured way so that you get a quick pill of information. If you like our content, please subscribe to Data Bicep and don't forget to like this video. We will meet again next week. Till then, bye-bye.